welcome children in this chapter of social studies we will learn about people who live around us so children when you look out of your house you find some of the people live on the right side of your house some people live on the left side of your house some people live opposite to the street in front of your house and some live behind your house so all these people who live around you are called neighbors now let's begin with the chapter neighbors now who are neighbors as i explained you right now people who live around our house are called neighbors we should live happily and peacefully with our neighbors so children when you go out to play you call your friend who lives in front of your house or beside your house even when you celebrate any festival you call your friends in diwali you call your friends to light all the lamps and light the crackers in holi you call them to your house and play holi in eid also you celebrate your eid with your neighbors so we should live happily and peacefully with our neighbors so when we are in trouble these neighbors also sometimes help us so what is our duty our duty is to live happily and peacefully with our neighbors then we should celebrate festivals together and help each other in times of need so if our neighbor is in trouble what is our duty our duty is to help them out of their troubles different people do different kinds of work and earn money to make a living so your friend's father may be in a bank or your other friend's father may be working in some other institute some of your friend's father may be a teacher so different people have different kind of work and they earn their living in a different way by doing different works so what are these work called so the work they do is called their occupation so what do we call them the work your friends parents do are called their occupation now let's learn what is an occupation here in your first picture you can see a doctor treating a child so a doctor treats people who are unwell and helps them to get well again so maybe your friend's father is a doctor so what is the occupation of your friend's father his occupation is of a doctor so what does a doctor do a doctor treats people who are unwell and helps them to get well let's move further in the second picture you can see a person stitching some clothes so who teaches stitches a cloth a tailor stitches a cloth so a tailor stitches clothes for us in the next figure you can see a man making some potteries he is making a pot some bowls and many more things with clay so who is he he is a potter his occupation is to make pots bowls and urns urns means utensils bartan let's see some more now here you can see a shop 
where there are many things in it. You can call it a supermarket. Well, what is it called? A grocer. So the person here is a grocer. Who is a grocer? A grocer sells many things in the shop. Cosmetics and eatables are all sold here. So what does a grocer do? A grocer sells many things in, the, in his shop. He can sell cosmetics, eatables and many more things. Let's see some other occupations also. Here you can see below is a person giving some medicine to a, another man. So who is he? He is a chemist. What is his occupation? A chemist sells medicines and other medical items. Next we have a person who is working with woods. So who is he? He is a carpenter. What is his occupation? Is his occupation is to make furniture and other wooden things. Then let's go some, to some other uh, people. Here you can see a man with his uniform and he is holding some letters and envelopes. So who is he? He is a postman. What does a postman do? He brings us our letters and parcels. In the next figure we can find a lady teaching someone. So there are some students sitting and a lady is teaching them a lesson. So who is she? She is a teacher. And what is her occupation? A teacher teaches children in school. Now, in the next figure you can see a person with a uniform and a thief. So, what is his occupation? He is a policeman who catches thieves and guards the neighborhood. I hope you understood. Okay, and I am sure you will learn all these people who are around you and you will learn their occupation also. Well children, this is all for now. We will meet in our next class. 